What is going on YouTube? This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back in with another video and today we're going to do a product review on the new Cyclazar EX boxes. Let's go! What is going on Hilltop TCG family? That's right, today guys we are ripping and reviewing the new Cyclazar EX boxes, but like always, we don't just have one box. We have a full on case, you guys, a full case. So that means we're ripping six total boxes today because obviously Nick has to understand the ratios on these boxes. So again, six boxes ripped, but before we get into that guys, let's take a look at the market, okay? Um, these come out um, May 5th, so Friday. I, hopefully this video comes out on Friday. Y'all know me. Um, but 23.53 TCG player price. These should MSRP, I think still, maybe they increase the MSRP. I guess I should do some research. But these typically cost $20 a piece. So this is right around MSRP. This might be the new SMR, MSRP. I hope they don't charge more, but I could see Pokemon charging more MSRP wise. But I mean, not a ton of sale. I literally one sale the days of this recording. I mean, it's an EX box, guys. I mean, these never are too crazy popular. I mean, it started out at $30 and it's just gone downhill um, since pre-orders were available. So, I mean, it's a cool box. It's Cyclozar, a new Pokemon. Um, so there's a little bit of hype around that, I guess. But, I mean, it's a just a normal EX collection box. Not even a collection box, just an EX box. But here we go. Here's the box, guys. I'm actually really vibing on the new layout, um, the new the new color scheme, all the stuff that they're doing with this um, Scarlet and Violet era, but pretty cool there. You get four packs. Um, if you want to pause it on that and read the little spiel, kick it full throttle with Cyclozar EX. There you go. You basically get one big Jomo promo, you get two other promos, and you get four packs. So pretty, pretty simple, you guys. While I'm ripping into this first box, though, you guys, hey, don't forget to like this video, smash that subscribe button, click the little bell to get notified each time we do post a video. All that goes such a long way and means a bunch, you guys. So go do it. All right, here is this beautiful box. You guys can't even, there we go. There's like, look at the little star foil galactic pattern on that jumbo. I actually really, really like that. That is pretty gosh darn clean looking. We'll take that out real quick. Take these out. Again, reminder guys, we were doing five other boxes because we want to understand the hit ratios out of a typical box. So stay tuned for that after we do this first little review. We'll do the other five boxes. Sorry for the big crash bang booms. Let's take a look at it. We got Lost Origin and Scarlet and Violet. And then we got Silver Tempest and Scarlet and Violet. So pretty prominent, well, well mass produced um, sets right there. Lost Origin, Silver Tempest still fairly popular. I mean, we can get a freaking, if we get an alt art Lugia or an alt art, <laughs> um, I always want to say Greninja, Giratina, and that would be absolutely wild, guys. Um, here we go. Here is the code card for the Cyclozar box. See you later, dude. Then we got the Cyclozar EX. Like it, like it, like it. And then we got a nice little hollow foil Rotom. I do like that Rotom as well. Let's take a look at the jumbo right here. You can really see the star foil, whatever pattern that you would want to call it. But actually really, really clean. Clean, clean jumbo. All right, guys. So let's take a look at this first one. And then again, we're going to rip five more of these. So can we have some one pack? Magic out of Silver Tempest. Yes, we can. We got a Vulpix. So that is a great, great start. Great start. We're going to have two of these packs that have yellow borders, and two of the packs have the new silver borders. So hey, there we got a Beautifly Hollow right there. So it's going to be interesting with only one reverse as well. So now we got two reverses and a guaranteed Hollow out of Scarlet and Violet, guys. We're going to see right now if we can get lucky with something. And we did, we got a playable Gardevoir. We'll take that. So two hits so far, actually pretty awesome. There we go, and then last pack magic. I mean, my guess would be probably every other box you're gonna see a hit. So right now, this is good ratios. My goodness, I'm not used to that. There we go, there's the Hollow Mouse Garada. Um, so yeah, there we go, two hits, you guys. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the other five boxes open and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. We got all other five boxes open. Got all the beautiful, beautiful jumbos out. Those can stay, those can stay up there. We got the promo codes for y'all. There you go. There's one, two, three, 
four and five. If y'all want to go grab a Cyclazar, I think TCG, I think the, the Pokemon is uh, the online platform is getting shut down, I think, real quick, real quick soon here. So um, that's going to be fun. All right, guys, so here we go. We got two hits on our first box. We have five other stacks here, guys. So again, we're gonna test out those ratios, baby, to see what we can hit out of an average box of Cyclozar. I'm thinking at the end of this, one hit on average. That is gonna be my guess. One hit on average per box. That'll be that'll be my guess. I think we're gonna have a couple boxes with nothing, and I think we might have a couple more with like two hits. That's my, that is my guess. Maybe I'll be wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hey, I like being wrong with that. Crobat trainer gallery full art baby i've missed these i love these black borders i do love the black borders on these trainer galleries that is a hit right there let's go all right silver tempest not silver tempest scarlet violet goodness gracious words are hard here we go okay there we go we got a gear dose maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm gonna be wrong i'll take being wrong two hits on this one as well we still got one pack left what do you guys think about this Cyclozar product? I know I'm not a big, massive fan. I never order a ton. Oh my gosh, Cyclozar, Cyclozar. I'm not a, don't ever order a bunch of these collection boxes because it's been proven that um, from online sales that most of y'all don't don't like them. You know what I mean? Like a few people will buy them, but these are, these are definitely great for like in-store purchases, especially like a big box retailers because you know, little, Hey, we got Gordy. Let's go. We got little Timmy walking into Walmart or Target or Meyer or wherever and wanting to buy some Pokemon. And a $20 value is actually pretty good. And kids like those big shiny jumbos and all that stuff. So he's definitely appeal to the kid. But not the best. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Miss Fortune Sisters. These things are loaded. Holy cow. Hopefully this momentum keeps up. We got two full arts. We got. A secret rare. I mean, we're literally averaging two hits a box right now, guys. Two hits a box. And we haven't seen anything too crazy out of the Scarlet and Violet either, where I was expecting to see the majority of our hits. The Silver Tempest and Lost Origin have paid off big time, baby. Let's go. Yeah, nothing again out of Scarlet Violet. It's hard to go back and forth between Silver Tempest and Scarlet and Violet for me for some reason. All right, so there is another box with two hits. And there's a Milotic. I mean, that counts. It's a yellow border, and I'll take it. So we got another hit there. Let's move the Gordy up. So we got Lost Origin. Could you imagine hitting some type of alt art? Like, that would be crazy. Crazy, crazy. But, hey, there's Premonition. We got we got a couple more chances. We got a couple more chances to hit that Giratina. That would be so cool. I miss, I miss ripping Silver Tempest and Lost Origin, to be honest. Like, you can't get these products... Like you can't get booster boxes or ETBs or anything like that at the vast majority of distributors now. Like they've, their Pokemon hasn't reprinted anything, you know what I mean? So like when you, they, they just don't have anything. So we don't have the, we, we can't unless we want to pay like third party pricing. Uh, here we, there we go. We got an Armorage. We can't get any ourselves, right? So it's hard to do breaks and do all those things. And because I want to give you guys value, right? On the website, etc. all that stuff. I want to make sure you guys have good value. Right there, that's, I feel like there's a glare on that cycle's are. Let me move it up behind my face. All right, so wow. I am mind blown. I mean, literally, I think even if we don't hit anything on these last two boxes, the average per box is just about two hits if we don't hit anything on these. So that's crazy, crazy good hits so far, guys. Crazy good hits. Are we gonna have our first box here without anything? Can Scarlet and Violet pay off? Let's go, come on, guys. Let's go. I think it did. We got the Arcanine. So we'll take an Arcanine. Definitely a bulky X. I'm kind of sad to see the Gyarados and Arcanine. They did not hold value very well. Did not hold value at all. But that's all right. All right. Can we see anything else? All right. So that is our lowest box so far. One hit. All right. Last box magic, guys. Last box magic. Let's go. Come on. Can we see? We got a hollow. All right, Lost Origin, Giratina time, right? Giratina time. Oof, could you imagine? <laughs> I'd lose it. I'd lose it. There's there's definitely Giratinas that gotta be living in one of these cycles, our boxes in the, in the world, right? There's gotta be one. All right, nothing in the Lost Origin or Silver Tempest. Can Scarlet and Violet pay off? Nothing there. 
All right, last pack magic, Scarlet and Violet. Last pack magic, please, please. Let's do it. Let's get something. Let's get something. And, ooh, there we go. We got a pig. So we got a piggy. I'll take a piggy. All right, guys. So, wow. All right, so let's take a look at these numbers real quick. I mean, I am honestly very surprised. Very, very surprised and in a great way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven hits. So slightly under two hits on average per box. But I mean, right there at just about two hits on average per box, guys. That is really, really good. Every other pack, there's only four packs in there. You get a hit on average. So that's super cool, guys. I mean, this is quite the exciting board. And you know, I'm not gonna go out and buy a ton of these. We have a few cases. I don't even think I put them on the website. You know what I mean? But maybe I will. If you guys are interested, shoot us a message on Instagram or whatever, but I like it. I approve. Great ratios. But if you guys made it to the end of this video, you are an absolute legend. Have a great night, weekend, whatever it is for you. Peace.